Hi, my name is Neil Christopher Chung, and I'm a PhD candidate at Princeton University. Today, I will help you understand the basics of statistical programming in R. R is the de facto standard language for data analysis and development of a statistical software. Please make sure that you have already installed R and R Studio on your computer. It will be very important for you to follow each step in R and to make sure you have gotten the correct results. After opening RStudio, it is essential to set up your working environment. Mainly, we like to set up the working directory and to remove all objects in the current R session so we can start fresh. The working directory is a default location on your computer that R is pointing at. If you want to save or load a file, you need to know where the current working directory is. You can either look right above the console in R Studio, above the console, or type in get working directory. To organize different R projects and to have a special directory for this R session, I create a directory called R lesson on my desktop, as you can see on my desktop. Setting the working directory could be done via graphical user interface in R Studio or command line interface. Set WD. If you do not change a working directory later on, you may end up with a cluttered desktop, lost files, or worse. We would like to know if there are any objects in the current R session. In R Studio, we can click on the Environment tab to see the list. Or simply type in ls. We can see that there are three objects, namely test1, test2, and test3. Note that you may see a different list or an empty list if there is no object in your current R session. You may want to delete an object to clear up the working environment. Let's first delete test1. If you want to delete every object currently available, you can use ls command. Now let's make sure all object has been removed. The character 0 stands for you do not have any object in the current R session.